Hi, this video is continuing where the last one left off. In uh, Tableau Practice 1, we created this visualization. We're going to create a new one. So first, we're going to go down to the bottom, right to the, to the right of the tab that says Order by Region, which is the visualization we created previously. We're going to click on the plus sign. This says to create a new visualization. There are two other buttons. The next one is creating a dashboard, and the next one is creating a storyboard. We're not going to do the storyboard in this class. We will do a dashboard, however, later. So click on that, and we have a blank template to work with. All right, in this one, we're going to create a line chart, but it's going to be a line chart with different colors for different uh, years, and it's going to be year-over-year -year sales. So we'll do a few iterations to get to our final product. All right, so let's take sales and drag that to rows. Okay, this is at least telling us, giving us some information. Pretty boring. We could have done this uh, very easily in Excel. But it says we have sales uh, short of nine years. Now, keep in mind, we have multiple years in this data, so it's adding up all the years worth of data. So in general, it's obviously not very useful. Let's go ahead and take order date and drag it to columns. All right, by adding date, anytime you have a date function, it tends to want to um, move it to a line chart. And that's fairly typical. I do want to point out a few things with these pills. So if you put your mouse over the sum of sales green pill here, or this oval, you'll see there's a drop down caret. Click on that. And you can see that we can change the sum to average, median, count. I'll admit I use count, average, and sum the most, but you also have minimum, maximum, standard deviation, etc. All right, so right now we can see that sales are increasing year over year, but let's look at a little bit more detail. So on the there's a drop down caret on year as well. What we want to do is select month, and we want to select the first month in that drop down list. All right. So now it is actually showing us a uh, year over year, or uh, the, I'm sorry, the sales for each month. But once again, it's adding up each individual year. What we're going to do is take order date again, and we're going to drop it onto color. What we did here is now separate each lot each year into its own separate color. We can see the legend here over the, on the right. Just in case you aren't seeing the legend, you may have this instead, the show me, which you, this is uh, just hiding so you can toggle to then display your legend. All right, let's go ahead and take sales again, and we're going to drop it onto detail. So now we make sure we have the details every time we hold our mouse over a point. This is good, but let's change this, uh, the sales to year over year growth. So rather than sum, we're gonna go down here to quick table calculation, and we're going to use year over year growth. Notice we lose the 2010 line because we don't have 29, 2009 data, so it doesn't have any year-over-year -year growth. Do note here on the bottom that there are um, times in 12 different points where we have null values, meaning uh, we have a negative, which it does show up, but uh, there's a place where there's zero sale or zero growth. So that's giving us a, a null. So we're just going to show data at the default position right there. Okay. All right, so one last thing we're going to do on this one, we're going to take product category and drop it here on rows before sales. And that's giving us three different year over year growth charts, one for each product category and we can see the individual years. 
All right, we're going to go ahead and name this and I'm just gonna call it uh, yearly growth. And with that, we're going to go ahead and create one new, more visualization in this video before we move on. So what we want to do is actually create a cross tab from, from this uh, yearly growth. So sometimes we want to see a good, nice looking visualization. Other times we want to actually see our spreadsheet of data, but we can do some more things in Tableau that we that are a little bit more difficult to do in Excel. So hold your mouse over your yearly growth, right click, and in the middle, there's a duplicate if we want to ever make a copy, but we can say duplicate as cross tab. And now we have yearly growth too. Let's go ahead while we're at it and rename this just to cross tab for now. Okay. So you notice here we have our da uh, data. We have our difference from sales from the previous year and we have our sales. The first thing we're going to do is swap the axes. So there's a button right underneath the format that has um, swap rows. This is a control W if you want a shortcut key. And now we have our data. So we have our 20, so we have furniture in 2010, uh, and all four years are office supplies. We're going to take product category now. This get, makes the chart a little wide. We're going to take product category and drop it to our row right before month. All right, so this is a little bit better. We have just the eight columns, two for each year. And now we have our product category separated by month. All right, let's take it and um, we have our sales, but we don't know what our profitability is. So we're gonna take profit and we're going to drop that on color. All right, right now the color is, I would say very difficult to read. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change the color. First, we're going to change the mark. So from automatic to square, don't panic. And then we're going to edit the colors. So I'm going to click on colors and then edit. And we're going to go to red green diverging. Okay. So that's kind of what accountants typically use. It's not recommended by a lot of people, but in accounting, we frequently use it. And part of the reason red green is bad for many visualizations is um, somebody who is colorblind won't be able to distinguish the difference between the colors. All right, so I clicked on advance, and what I wanna do is make zero the center. So everything below zero will be red, everything above zero would be green. And that kind of notes, was there net income or not? Or a net loss? Okay, so far so good. But what we wanna do is bring back those labels. Uh, what we want to do is go under mark and we're going to just drop sales onto our label and that will put our numbers back in. All right, so that finishes up our cross tab. And it looks good. You get more information. You can actually see the profit numbers if you hold your mouse over. And we'll go ahead and save that. And that wraps up this uh, video. Come back for the next one where we'll do some actual maps.